Alrighty boys, welcome back, episode number 7, Porto Career Mode. We have Boa Vista up next, and we get another management offer. Why are we getting so many? This time it's Paraguay, I reject it. So here we go, baby. Boa Vista is the next match, but we have PSG in three days. We have to come out here with our second team because we have to be freshman PSG in Paris. In the Champions League, I mean, that is a huge match. A match that obviously we're huge underdogs, but we got to make sure we give ourselves the best chance of winning and we got to keep our players fresh. So, you know, we're going with the 4 1 2 1 2 with the backup players, a bunch of young guns, and some experience in there as well. So, the first play, thankfully, would be for us right here. Lozano on the ball. Herrera loses it. He loses it in the midfield. And then, what the hell was that? Where is our center back at? We cannot catch up to this guy. That's it. Boa Vista opens up the scoreboards on a counterattack. Lost ball in the midfield by Herrera. And then we just could not catch up to this guy. Looking at the replay, our keeper could have also done more. He tried to scoop up the ball instead of sliding towards it. I don't know, boys. We got to get off to a better start than that. So only one to two minutes later. Let's see if we can respond right here. Gabriel Jesus. He goes to soup the shot, the goal. That's it. It only took us about two minutes to find the equalizer to put things under control to stay calm instead of being pissed off oh my goodness look at the vision from uh, gabriel jesus and i like having two strikers i really do this 4-1-2-1-2 formation allows for my strikers to link up and that just makes me happy man but as, as you know in our stellar lineup we go with the 4-3-3 uh, and our only striker is Abuba Carr. But here you saw Boa Vista get close uh, to taking the lead once again. We're definitely not defending well. This second unit is struggling and struggling bad. Right there, our center back. I didn't think that was a foul, but the ref whistles it a foul. Here they get a nice set piece play. The shot and it hits. Or it doesn't hit, but it goes over the crossbar. Oof. We dodged a bullet right there. But just before halftime in the 43rd minute, Boa Vista on the attack yet again. Manuel the shot. Come on, keep. Come on, keep. Our backup goalkeeper. I felt like he could have done more. That was his post. Boa Vista takes the lead. Uh, maybe I'm, 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 I'm wanting way too much for my backup goalkeeper, but I just felt like he could have. Ah, he could have. He should have gone to that one. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But we go to the, down to the locker rooms, losing two to one at the half. So. This isn't good. We need a response right here. Pereira to Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus to Irving Lozano. The shot. Golazo, baby. Golazo from Lozano. Gabriel Jesus with his second assist of the game. This young guy, he, he, he doesn't only finish it, man. He could also dish it out. Nice stuff from Gabriel Jesus, our striker. He finds Lozano with a sublime finish. Top corner. Not a chance. The keeper's reaching that one. Oh man, what a shot, and we tie this one up yet again. But now, boys, let's see if we can take the lead right here. Hector Herrera coming off the bench. Never mind, I don't think he came off the bench. I think he started the game. So now to make some substitutions, Silva. We got to start Silva. Soup coming out of the match, and right here we're giving Corona some minutes as well. We got to make sure we win this match. We're, we're obviously adjusting the position to a right wing position. So Herrera has the ball in his feet. Ruben Neves finds Jose Angel, our left back with the shot. What a finish! What a finish for Jose Angel. He's a left back, man. I did not expect for him to finish. But hey, man, I'll take it. Nice link-up play between Herrera and Ruben Neves, who finds Jose Angel. What a finish. Way to stay calm and collected. Make sure to get that one in the back of the net. Right here, Hector Herrera with a goal line clearance. Boa Vista was pushing. They were pushing hard four minutes before the end of the match. They take the shot. Oh, come on now. We were so damn close to winning this match. But we gave it up, boys. Corona, you see the frustration. And right here is the mistake from Jose Angel. He gives up the ball. And then a deflection off of one of our center backs. It causes our keeper to not be able to reach that ball. Damn it, man. Looks like this one is going to end in a draw. 3-3 three to three draw against Boa Vista. They showed a lot of heart. So did we. We were down in the scoreboards twice. Turned it around, but unfortunately, we couldn't hang on to the result. 3-3. Three to three. 
I guess it was a fail result. Both teams were had a lot of chances. So anyways, here we are training the young guns, trying to get Lozano up there one day. Hopefully he could start for this team. Trying to get Pereira, Gabi, Jesus, all of those young guys. And then we see this news. Falcao out for eight weeks with a broken collarbone. He's one of the players that we eventually want to get back in this team. But next up, Champions League, PSG. We're in Paris. Are we scared? Are we nervous? The answer is no. This is a statement game. This is an opportunity for us to send a message to all the other giants here in the Champions League. That says, hey man, Porto, watch out for them. This game, winning this game, or maybe even picking up a draw and showing good football would put us on their radar. They would know that we're serious business. Obviously, you know PSG's lineup. You know our lineup, stellar lineup for tonight. Let's play some games, baby. Let's go to war. So, I'm switching up the tactics. I'm going counterattack and defensive. Obviously, I'm not expecting to beat them in possession. They're, they have more talent in the midfield, but maybe we can get them with our speed. Brahimi, Corona, Bubakar up front. Maybe we could kill them with the counterattack. But early on, PSG had tons of chances. Slatan forcing Iker to make a great save. In here, another attacking opportunity for PSG in the 14th minute. A shot from Pastore. What a goal. It only took almost 15 minutes and they're already on the board. And the truth is, at this moment, I was doubting my tactics. I was like, okay, maybe it was a little too early to, to just give them that much uh, space, that much time with the ball in their feet. Maybe I shouldn't have gone defensive. Here, let's see if we can finally get a response from our boys. Danilo Pereira goes to Abubakar, left-footed shot. Not very precise. 1-0, the score at halftime, it could have been worse. For the second half, we need something, something quick. In the 47th minute, look at us, linking up, Ojakup, Ozzy. He found the ball, he had the chance, and he blew it. In the 52nd minute, another chance. Iker with a great save, Slatan unable to finish. But the attacks, the, it was incessive, man. They, they kept coming, and right here, Horrible defending from Brahimi. No one comes out and Di Maria gets a free and easy header to give PSG a 2-0 lead. Our boys just weren't showing up, especially not defensively. We were just overwhelmed. We just, I mean, it is PSG and I understand they're a better team than us, but I know we could play better than this. Here in the 56 minutes, Andre Andre, it goes to Corona. Corona has a chance and he took way too long to pull the trigger. He gets it blocked. 65th minute, we lose the ball. Pereira, Danilo is apparently injured. Slatan with a 3-0 chance. Iker with another save. Come on, boys. We have to play better than this. Di Maria, another shot. It hits the post. We dodge another bullet, man. Right here in the 90th minute, we have one of the final opportunities with a counterattack. Maybe we should have waited till this long to hit him with the counterattack. Right here, Corona with a chance. He sends it over the damn crossbar. Ah, that was the last opportunity of the match. The ref blows the whistle. A 2 0 victory for PSG. Hey, man. You know. I knew it was going to be a long shot for us to win, but I was expecting more from our players. I was expecting to play a little bit better, a 2-0 win for PSG. It could have been worse. Look at the stats. It could have been way worse. 12 shots, 6 on target. They beat us in possession, which isn't surprising. I was just disappointed by the way we played. So Olympiacos beat Basel. They take the second spot in the group. We're in trouble, boys. We need to win our next match in the Champions League. We haven't won in that tournament yet. So our scout brought us some, back some talent apparently from Colombia, which yeah, I ended up not signing any of the players to our youth academy. They really weren't all that good. So here in the league versus Tondela, the worst team in the league, 18th versus the first place team. Yeah, man, it really wasn't a fair matchup, which I guess you can say. Ozzy Ozzy finding his first goal for Porto right there. Terrible. 
Absolutely terrible mistake from the goalkeeper. Look at it once again. He gave it to Ozzy, and Ozzy scores the easiest goal of his life right there. The first goal for him in an FC Porto jersey. But I'm just going to show you guys the goals in this match right here. Lozano to Abubakar, our number nine, scoring the second one of the match. And look at the clock. It was it was under 11 minutes. We were already up 2-0. This game was pretty much all set, man. It was completely done already in the second half right here. Danilo Pereira finds Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy. He gets it blocked. He still has it. Somehow he still had it in his possession. And he finds the goal. 3-0 destruction. But we weren't done yet. One more right here for Gabriel Jesus coming off the bench. The long shot. What? A golazo from the young Brazilian striker. Nice stuff from Gabriel Jesus. I have actually been training him with those long shots. So it's nice to see some feedback. It's nice to see that he improved somewhat. 4-0 destruction of Tondela. And right here, next up in the league, we had a road match against Academia. They are actually in 15th place of the league. Also not a very strong squad. So I'm going with my backup, my alternative lineup. And we're actually going to sim it. I'm pretty nervous. Sure enough. Uh, rightfully so. We lost, man. We lost in the league. I shouldn't have simmed it, maybe. Hey, what are you going to do? Thank you guys for watching. If you're still here, leave a like. I'll catch you guys on the next one.